Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Heisman Talk, your number one source of college football news on YouTube. I'm Nate Dog here with my co-host, Debonair D. Jackson, to break down week seven's Heismans of the week. That'll include both of our Heisman players of the week and a combined uh, vote on who is our Heisman team of this past weekend. So, D, good to have you back. Let's jump right into it. Who is your first Heisman of this past weekend? Man, my, my first Heisman of the week, you know, this week I got to, you know, go with the shorter guys, man. Uh, you know, it's going to be Utah State receiver Devin Tompkins, man. He's, he's small in stature. He's five foot eight, 155 pounds. But, man, he's explosive. You know, he, he's a heck of a receiver. Uh, you know, right now he, he's uh, fifth in the NCAA in receiving yards with 819 uh, receiving yards. And so, you know, the, the game this weekend, you know, against UNLV, you know, Utah State called on him. And, you know, he answered with, with 12 receptions, 180 yards, and two touchdowns. So, you know, this is a guy that definitely deserves more recognition. Uh, my boy uh, Slade, you know, he's been, you know, <laughs> the academic guy at, at uh, Utah State. He's been, you know, telling me about him more and more, and I've been able to check him out a little bit. He can play, man. He's a he's flat out explosive. He can play, so he's definitely uh, my first Heisman of the week. Yeah, D and, and Tompkins, along with you know the rest of the Aggies, are are looking really good right now in the Mountain West. They've positioned themselves um, to possibly make a run for the Mountain West Conference Championship game. So, congratulations to Tompkins for being selected D's first Heisman of the week. D, it took me a minute to find my first Heisman of the week because there's a lot of talent out there. And um, I finally chose quarterback Aiden O'Connell, Purdue's quarterback. And D, you know, Purdue came out and upset Iowa in a way that we never expected them to. We, we might have projected Iowa to get beat at some point, but definitely not by the Boilermakers. But let me tell you what, D. Aiden O'Connell completed 30 of 40 passes, 275 yards, and two touchdowns, and zero interceptions against what we had thought was the number two defense in the country and possibly still could be the number five um, defense in the country, top five defense in the country. But Aiden O'Connell, man, he, he played lights out. And, you know, my biggest takeaways is Purdue is starting to heat up in the Big Ten. This is a team that's – Four, four and two overall, two and one in the Big Ten. So they still got a real shot at this coming down the stretch. Uh, and secondly, O'Connell now has an 85.6 QBR on the year, ranked eighth in college football. So congratulations to Aiden O'Connell being selected my first Heisman of Week 7. D, we'll, we'll skip right along to your next Heisman. Who is your number two Heisman player of the week? Uh, my number two Hosman player of the week, man, he had a big game. And without him, you know, I don't think these guys win this game. Uh, Oklahoma State running back Jalen Warren. Uh, you know, he's another guy. You know, I said I'm a, you know, I'm gonna give a shout out to the smaller guys this weekend uh, or, or today. Um, you know, he's he's 5'8, 215 pounds, and he's just a powerful, powerful runner, man. Um, you know, uh, he had 193 yards on 33 carries, you know, and that's a, a, an average of five point yards per carry. You know, the, the guy was was phenomenal, man. Uh, Texas couldn't stop him. You know, he, he almost ran for 200 yards and everybody, you know, it looked like Texas was going to win that game. But they really, really relied, you know, Oklahoma State relied on that defense, but they also relied on Jalen Warren, you know, giving them the ball 30, 33 times. So definitely Jalen Warren, man. Uh, you know, shout out to him. Great game from him. Absolutely, D. You know, this is one of the games that we chose on our game day pickums. We both picked Texas because we thought B. John Robinson was going to be the better back in this game. Um, but yeah, Oklahoma State played great, and Jalen Warren played a huge part in that Cowboys offense in their win over the Texas Longhorns. So yeah, congratulations to Jalen Warren being selected D's number two Heisman of the week. D, I'm going to stick with the running backs as well. We we saw some great play from running backs around the country this past weekend. I'm going to go with running back Ty Davis-Price from the LSU Tigers. D, you know, the biggest reason for this, well, for one, you look at his stats, 36 carries, 287 yards, and three touchdowns. But 
the this is a Tigers team that has struggled all year running the ball. I think they've been averaging what like 85 yards per game rushing, and then this kid comes out in his first or second start of the season and uh, rushes for. 287 yards and three touchdowns. My goodness, what a performance. Not only that, but they upset a Florida team that was favored by double digits, and they beat them 49-42 in a close one. So, yeah, D, you always wonder what, what could come next. The LSU Tigers still have a chance, possibly in the West. I don't know, but we shall see. They've got a, a slate of games ahead of them that could set them up for success. Yeah, man, he went off, man. It was it was crazy, you know. They Florida couldn't stop him, and uh, you know we'll see how how they play, you know, you know this week against Ole Miss. So. Absolutely, D. Absolutely. So then we go to our Heisman team of the week, and this one was pretty easy for us to choose again. D. I'll go ahead and introduce them this time around. We picked the UTSA Roadrunners. Shout out to the San Antonio University of Texas, San Antonio Roadrunners. This team is currently 6-0. and But, D, the biggest reason why we chose this team was because they are ranked in the top 25 in the AP poll for the first time in school history. What a, what a great moment for this school. What a great moment for this team. And what a great moment for their head coach, Jeff Trailer, who has really turned this program around, D. Like I said a few weeks ago, this is a program that started in 2011, I believe. Um, and and to, to make such great strides within 11 years, I mean, my goodness, you're already ranked in the top 25. D, you know, what are some of your takeaways from this past weekend and also for the UTSA Roadrunners in general being ranked? And like you said, man, you know, this program being started in, in 2011, uh, you know, I just want to give these guys a round of applause for, for you know, being ranked, man. Um, you know, like you were talking about Jeff Trailer, you know, he's coming from, from high school. He said he still kind of runs his program like a high school, you know, program. But, you know, you have to kind of shift it a little bit because he's coaching college now. But he's done, he's done a phenomenal job, man. You know, they, they have a win streak, you know, that spans back even to last year. And so you know, they're, they're moving in the right direction. Um, you know, they had a big uh, 45 to zero win over Rice this past weekend. They had two pick sixes. They had, you know, <laughs> their offensive players were playing well. And since, since they're McCormick, the quarterback and, and Frank Harris, their receiver and uh, Josh Cephas. So, you know, they got a really, really good team, man. Um, you know, we're going to see how they you know, play going forward, but they're definitely our team of the week. And we want to give a, a huge congratulations and a round of applause to them. But we don't want them to be satisfied, man. We want them to keep winning and, and keep playing, you know, keep playing hard. So, yeah, D, absolutely. And, and just to add to all your great points, you know, Jeff Trailer has ties with some great coaches and, and Charlie Strong on the defensive side and, and Matt Rule on the offensive side. I mean, he, He's really surrounded himself to be a successful head coach, not to mention 13-plus years in the state of Texas coaching high school with multiple state championships. So, yeah, like you said, congratulations to the UTSA Roadrunners. I don't think they're done yet, D. I, I mean, I think they're on their way to the Conference USA Championship and possibly a really, really good bowl bid uh, for this season. So we're really looking forward to it. We're going to be picking one of their games coming up in a couple weeks when they – Go on the road to play UTEP. So that's going to be a great game to look out for. Make sure you're, you're keeping up with, with our videos for that matchup here in a few weeks. But, D, with that being said, that's a wrap for today. When we come back tomorrow, we're going to predict week eight of our game day pick -ems. And although this might be a down week for some of these top programs, you won't want to miss out because, trust me, there's some group of five matchups that are going to be on your to watch and to bet radar. So be looking out. Make sure to subscribe down below if you're not already sub subscribed. <laughs> Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and uh, share it with your friends. And uh, make sure that bell notification is turned on so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. As always, this is Nate Dog and D signing off.